I'm about to show you what a bad cold DM looks like that books you zero calls for your content agency. And I'll describe what a good cold DM looks like. Not only is this cold DM method working for me right now, but it's also working for Chris and Amrit who scaled from 8K a month to 17K a month in 58 days. It's also working for Steven and Omar who scaled from 8K a month to over 26K a month in 58 days as well. And also Yaroslav and David who scaled from 2K a month to over 11K a month in just over two months. So it's safe to say that if it's working for those content agency owners along with myself as I'm scaling scaling past 100k a month, then it'll 100% work for you. So stick around until the end of this video where I'll break down what a good cold DM looks like. You should probably apply it before everybody steals it and it gets washed up. So first and foremost, why should you send cold DMs? So if you have no money to run ads, then this is pretty much the only good way to get clients reliably and consistently. Yes, there's inbound content. Yes, there's automated cold email, but really nothing hits as hard as cold DMs, especially for content agencies. I believe that you shouldn't be running paid ads until you're at least over 30k a month, because then you could spend at least 3k a month and it won't really matter. And even past 30 30K a month, you should still be running cold DMs. So me, for example, I've never successfully used paid ads to scale my agency. I've pretty much only relied on cold DMs combined with organic content on YouTube and Twitter. And the next thing is because you're a visual service, you kind of have to get in front of people and show them what you can do. And cold DMs is by far one of the best ways to do that because you can just send them videos up front in the DMs. So let's get started with what makes a bad cold DM. And right after that, I'll tell you what makes a good cold DM. And then I'll break down examples. So first things first, bad grammar, okay? Straight up, if you have bad grammar in a cold DM, you're instantly disqualified because nobody wants somebody to make their content or provide them any type of marketing service if they can't spell in English. Next up, if your messages are too long, nobody's going to read it. People are going to get bored. You know, people are busy. I have some examples later on that are super long, so you'll see exactly what I mean. Next up, if you don't have a specific offer that you're pitching them, you're kind of like, hey, I'm going to, you know, edit your videos or nothing really specific. It's not going to work. Next up, if your offer has no relevance. So let's say you're pitching someone that can't even benefit from the service you're offering. You know, it's not going to work. Next up, we got no personalization. So if you're just copy pasting DM or using one of those automated DM softwares, you're literally not going to make it because I myself and my friends, we receive tons of these every single day and we never buy anything from them. So I know it doesn't work. And next up, I actually have an example later on that's super funny, but if you make your cold DM centered on yourself rather than centered on the prospect, why would it work? It like literally just doesn't make sense because when you're pitching someone, they are the center of attention. You know, you need to show them, hey, how can I benefit you? If I'm just talking about myself, they're not going to want to answer. Next up, if you clearly didn't research the prospect and you say something that just gives this away completely, they're not going to answer you. I think this goes without telling, but some people just don't learn. And next up, if you have low status wording for punctuation, like let's say you're using exclamation marks or you sound super needy in your DM, it's not going to work because they're going to tell you're bloodthirsty. By bloodthirsty, I mean like you need money. They're going to feel it in your message. Okay, so a couple more advanced things here. So if your profile that you're sending the DM from is shit, they're not going to answer you. And the reason why is because whenever you cold DM someone, the first thing they do before answering answering you is they check out your profile. They're going to see who follows you. They're going to see your bio, your profile picture, your banner, what type of tweets you make, what type of YouTube videos you make, so on and so forth. Next up, if you didn't send any free value up front, then you're not going to make it because you need to be able to differentiate yourself. And most people don't want to spend 20 to 40 minutes on every single piece of outreach. So this is how you're going to differentiate yourself. Next up, if your work isn't good, like let's say you made a free video for someone or a free script and it just isn't good, then you're obviously not going to sign them. So make sure you're actually good at the fulfillment side of things as well. Next, if you have no website, then no one's really going to respond back to you. You'll still get replies, but it won't be anything crazy. And if you don't have a VSL, it's also going to really hurt your reply rate. So make sure you get a VSL on your website. For anyone who doesn't know, VSL stands for video sales letter. And what it does is it just sells the prospect, shows social proof and explains what you do. Next, if you're selling a content service and you don't have any content online, it's going to be super hard to sell people. Even if you're watching this and you don't make a content service, just by having content online, it's going to increase your reply rate so much. And finally, you need a clear way for people to book a call with you if they want to. So make sure you have a book a call button on your website or some sort of calendar link. All right, so let's talk about what makes a good cold DM and then I'll get right into the examples. So equal slash higher status. So what this means is the way you're outreaching them, you know, you're calm, professional, you know, you're not sounding needy or bloodthirsty. Next up, you have a clear offer. So it's clear how your offer is gonna benefit them. They don't have to think about, oh, how is this gonna benefit me? It's super, super clear. Next, you need to be as straight up and to the point as possible. People love that because we are busy. Next, it needs to be relevant to their goal. So most people's goal is to make more money. So if your offer is to make them more money, it's gonna work. Next up, it needs to be personalized and well-researched, people are going to appreciate that. They're going to see the effort you put into reaching out to them, and they're going to reciprocate that effort by responding to you. Also, if you're sending free value in that first message, it's going to work wonders. You'll also need a website, case studies, VSL, testimonials, all up. And finally, you're going to need some content online. So let's dive right into the examples. So one thing I want to say is that a lot of these examples aren't from video editors or content agencies. I pretty much just went through my message requests on Twitter and found the worst DMs. Sorry, guys, if any of you are watching this that I used as an example, I didn't even blur your names. So first up, 
this guy says, Eamon, man, I hope you're doing well. I noticed you don't have a newsletter yet. Can I show you what I can do for you? So instead he should have wrote a free email up front so I could actually see his skill level. He could have just wrote a Google doc, sent it to me, made sure that anybody with the link can view. And then from there, I just see his skill level. If the email is pretty decent, I'd send it out to my list. And then if it makes money, I don't have a reason to not work with him. This guy, he looks pretty experienced, but he's pitching me some sort of sales manager thingy. And the thing is he should have wrote me some sort of DM setting script up front. And then after that, he should have recorded a loom breaking down the overall sales funnel and the process that he would have taken me through. And the thing is he could have used that same sort of template and kept recording the same loom on it. It's not like he has to make a new Myra board every time or something. Maybe he just had to swap the name, but really just helping me understand you know, how his sales process and sales funnel would work. Also what the DM setting script would look like, so on and so forth. Next up, this one's very common. Editors will just send portfolios out, but instead he should have edited a free video for me and sent it up front. On top of that, he should have made it a bit more clear how he could benefit me, right? There's so many video editors nowadays, you need to differentiate yourself. And what you wanna do is just think from the business owner's perspective, like what do they want to do? They wanna make more money. That's the only reason why they're making videos on the internet. That's the only reason why they would pay an editor. So you need to position yourself as the best method for the business owner to bridge that gap between where they want to be and where they currently are. So if a business owner has no video content, but they want to make more money, get more traffic, you're going to tell them, look, I'm going to edit your videos. I'm also going to do the idea script, so on and so forth. And it's going to help you get to that goal. Once they see you through that lens and how you're going to benefit them, only then will you make money. Next up, we got this guy who's super self-centered. He's saying, I work with 10 plus YouTubers and currently working with a big YouTuber with over 6 million subscribers. Like, okay, cool. How about me? Like, what are you going to do for me? Are you going to make me more money? Did you edit me a free video? So on and so forth. Instead of focusing on yourself, you need to focus on the prospect. Next up, same thing like as the other dude, this guy just sent his portfolio. He sent me a random sample, not one of my own. So for all I know, this could be a stolen portfolio, right? That's another thing, but overall it doesn't really entice me. So next up, this guy's an email copywriter. He just did a generic engagement thing. He's like, hey, Eamon, saw your page, like your content. I shot you a follow, follow me back. Like nobody actually starts real conversations like this. Like this feels fake as hell. I could tell he wants to pitch me right after due to his bio, right? Like right away, I see 19 email copywriter. It's like, okay, I know he's gonna ask me, are you doing anything with email right now, something like that. So next up, this guy just sent me his portfolio. He should have sent me something free up front. This guy, he's pitching me thumbnails. He should have just went to my YouTube videos, pulled a screenshot with my face, and then used that to create a thumbnail and send it to me. This guy has no value. He was just like, hey, Eamon, quick question. Like, why would anybody respond to this? Instead, he should write me something that's gonna 2X my conversions, like his bio is promising. Then I would have probably clicked it. All right, so this guy's pretty unprofessional. He's like, yo, bro, what's good? So it's never really good to just reach out to people and say, yo, and bro, some people don't like that, right? Some people are professional. You never wanna assume. So it's better to say something simple like, hey, what's up? On top of that, the what's good abbreviation, not too many people know that. Next up, he's saying, yo, bro, I'll cut the fake things, get straight to the point. I can get you a shit ton of call books. So he's swearing, you know, again, it's not professional. Like to me right away, this feels like some 16 year old kid who just watched a, a video on YouTube. And then he tells me he wrote a sequence for me, but in reality, he didn't. So what he should have done instead of just actually write the sequence, send it up front. And then also he shouldn't have sent me a voice message. Maybe this is just me, but I hate voice messages. And on Twitter, you can't see the transcript. So I'm not going to waste 13 seconds and listen to that. All right. So this guy's just sending automated cold DMs. I have nothing to do with trucking businesses. And he hit me with this. The reason why I included this is because I know there's automated cold DM softwares out there and they're super appealing, but trust me, they are super, super bad. And they're going to make you look like this. All right. So this guy right off the bat, he's pitching a zoom call, which is bad. Also, the message is insanely long. So I'm not going to read that. He doesn't need to tell me where he's from. He doesn't even need to tell me his name because I could see it. So he's just adding more and more bloat inside of this message. So what he should have also done is made me a thumbnail up front, just like all the other guys. This guy's pitching me some sort of Facebook ad audit. He should have did the audit up front in the form of a loom and sent it to me. But also his case studies don't really match up with me. So I feel like this is irrelevant and doesn't apply to me. So he's talking about Bugatti, Lambo, Real Madrid. None of those companies are B2B agencies or helping online coaches. So I wouldn't even want to respond to this. And this is the last one. He's saying, oh, you might think I'm like every other editor. I actually do because this is a super generic message. So instead he should have sent something for free up front, whether that's a YouTube script, whether that's a free edit, so on and so forth. All right. So in terms of good cold DMs, I'm not going to share my exact DM script because that's reserved for my private clients within my coaching program, but here's some attributes that good cold DMs have. This is called Dream 100 Outreach. So you start by making a list of 100 dream prospects you want to work with, and then you reach out to them manually with free value up front. So to go more in depth on what I mean by free value up front in the first message, you can send a YouTube script, you can send a free short form video, you can send a free YouTube video edit. There's so many free things you can send up front. So just get creative. Next up, you don't want to push for a call right away in the first message. You want to see how they reply and how the conversation feels. Also, you want to keep it as short and straight to the point as possible because we are busy business owners, we don't have time to read super long winded messages. Next up, you want to focus on how you can benefit the prospect, right? Don't be self-centered, just focus on the prospect. And finally, you want to use calm follow-ups every few 
two days for eternity until they say yes or until they say no. This method is so good, you're gonna get responses like this one daily. Yo, best DM pitch I've gotten. Wow, let's set up a time to chat. So with this strategy, you only need to send five DMs per day and you can start signing clients within three weeks. In terms of how long each DM is gonna take you, because you're sending free value upfront, it's gonna take pretty much 30 to 40 minutes per outreach you send. So what you need to know is that the money is in the follow-up, so most leads won't answer you off the bat. In fact, 90% won't. You'll only close deals if you're sending good follow-ups consistently and you have a good system to track everything and make sure no leads fall through the cracks. On top of that, you'll need to actually send them a good free asset. So if you send them a free YouTube script and the script is terrible, you're not gonna sign them. So don't focus too hard on the message copy. You also wanna make sure you're giving them a good free piece of value. So these are my students, Chris and Amrit. They signed their first client within three days of starting their outreach for 2,500 bucks per month. They went from 8K a month to 17K a month within 58 days of joining my program and applying this outreach system. Next up, we got Omar and Steven who are also business partners. They went from 8K a month to 26K a month in 58 days after applying my system. Next up, we got Yaroslav and David. They went from 2K a month to 9.4K a month in 55 days after applying my system. And one or two weeks later, they literally got to 11.4K a month. I'm showing you these results for one simple reason, to prove that my method of outreach is by far the best way to acquire content clients. So that's the difference between bad cold DMs and good cold DMs to be sending for your content agency. I guarantee that if you start sending DMs the right way and avoid all the mistakes I outlined in this video, you'll scale your content agency even faster than I did. So just like my coaching student, Piero, who I helped go from 2,300 a month to 10.3K a month in 34 days. He signed a 5K a month client right here, confirmed that he went from 2.8K to 10.3K. And also this 5K a month client came from Dream 100 Outreach. So if you want help with this entire process, including the exact scripts I use to scale to 93K a month plus individual guidance on everything from sales calls to service delivery and getting your clients actual tangible monetary results, then click the first link in the description to book a call. I have a full course inside along with my copy paste systems, breaking down everything you need to know about adding 20 to 30K a month to your content agency within four months. You'll also get one-to-one -one support in a private Slack channel with me and my team, plus a weekly group call with me where I can answer any questions you have and hang out with other content agency owners who are all also in the middle of scaling. So if you're ready to scale your content agency by learning from someone who's still actually in the game instead of some fake guru coach who's gonna tell you to just do more outreach or start running ads or give generic advice like that, book a call using the first link in the description. My program costs money, it's not free, so don't book a call if you don't have cash or credit. You need to be a content agency or a freelance video editor making over 1K a month in US dollars in order to qualify. So if you don't meet that criteria, please don't book a call. Also, if you just feel like watching another YouTube video, just watch this one on my channel. It's super fire, it's on the screen right now. That's it, peace.